Both Bangladesh and Afghanistan come into this crucial Super 4 match having lost their previous contests, but it is anyone's guess which side would be more confident. Bangladesh have had it rough in their last two games particularly their batsmen who have performed poorly as a collective. Afghanistan have played impressive cricket in the Asia Cup so far, although the loss to Pakistan will take time to heal. They will hope for a better start from Mohammad Shahid and Hsola in the first power play. Their middle order has mostly done the job of steadying the ship and setting a platform for the last 10 overs in which Afghanistan have now scored 97 and 87 runs in their last two matches, against Bangladesh and Pakistan. Hashmat Shula Shahidi has been their batting ace, scoring 192 runs in three innings, but none of the others have been as consistent. Ramat Shah made 72 against Sri Lanka while Asgrafgan struck 67 against Pakistan. Their three main spinners, however, have been outstanding none of them conceding more than 3.50 runs per over. Mujibur Rahman's accuracy and variation with the new ball is backed up by the experienced Mohamed Nabi before their star bowler, the leg spinner Rashid Khan, rips into the middle orders. Perhaps at times Captain Afghan can bring Rashid into the attack slightly earlier, especially if teams get off to good starts. Bangladesh haven't had it so easy. Tamim Iqbal's injury and forced absence has unsettled the top order. The lack of form of the younger batsmen such as Leetan Das, Nazmal Hussain Shando and Mozadek Hussain has led the selectors to add So Umia Sarkar and Imral Kays to the squad. Whether this will relieve the pressure on the three main batsmen, Mushfikur Rahim, Shaykhib Al Hussain and Mahmudullah, remains to be seen. Both teams are in the same situation, effectively. As far as the tournament goes, but at the moment Afghanistan look clear favorites, their spinners itching to go at an under pressure batting lineup that has failed to cross 200 in successive games.